All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the fig boss. Today I'm gonna to do a blind taste test. So I'm gonna be eating, I don't know, around 15 different varieties of my own figs for my own trees. And I'm gonna to try to make this a little fun to see if I know the varieties that I'm eating. And I think this is a good lesson in, first of all, I don't know, do I have enough skill to do this? <laughs> Is my palate good enough? Is my memory of taste good enough? But also, we're gonna figure out which one is like definitively my favorite of today. And so that way uh, there's no bias. We're also gonna see, I think a little bit about whether or not these figs are really all that different maybe I'm not going to be able to discern the differences without looking at them. So let's, uh, let's get started. All right, peoples. So we have 17 different varieties. As you can see, they're labeled. My trusty fig assistant will be handing them to me. I've tried to cut them all at a similar size. Um, I think that's a little difficult, but it is what it is. So you can see the variety names there. I will clarify, there is some spelling mistakes because my assistant is not as fig savvy, but I will clarify when I speak and also if uh, at the end, we'll clarify. All right, people. So we're gonna start now with the first fig, assistant. Oh. It feels, it feels sticky. Is this a, would it be cheating if I could guess just by the way it feels? I think that's Campanieri. Can I have another one? So it's quite thick and also has like a, a texture that's uh, reminiscent of Campanieri. And it also, it tastes quite fruity, but I'm not picking up the, the same clay notes and uh, soil notes that I might pick up if this were really well ripened. So I don't, this is not, this is ripe, but I would not say overripe or very ripe. All right, I think I'm satisfied with that. I think that's Campanieri. Now what's the next one? Thank you. Hmm. Oh my. This is quite mild. Oh, a lot sweeter down there at the bottom. This might be Dotato. Let's try another one. Thank you. Hmm. Very loose pulp. Like a watery jelly or a juicy jelly. And I'm gonna stick with Dotato. Maybe I will come across a fig that is more Dotato and then I'll have to rethink that one and then I'll be in trouble. But usually the skin contrasts really well with the pulp and I wasn't picking that up. So I don't feel good about that one. Mm. Oh no. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I have no clue. Hmm. Is that Campanieri? Oh. Thicker skin. Hmm. But the flavor is on the more mild side. I would say not as intense. I think it's holier. Okay. okay. You said Fig One Chicago. No, I didn't. Fig One Campanieri. <laughs> <laughs> it was Chicago? <laughs> no. Fig Two, you said Dotado. 
And fig three, you're saying, is holier? Oh, man. So now maybe that one's Campanieri. Okay. Don't, fig assistants don't make mistakes. Don't okay. All right. Okay. You're perfect. Okay. Next one. Oh. Wow. Very small and dried. I think this is a giveaway. Yeah. That's Celeste. Oh. A little bit fermented. Uh-oh. But... Uh, that was dried, I think, too long. I'm sticking with it. I think I had a clue on that one. Very thick. Ooh. This one is very good. Hmm. I believe this is Verdino del Nord. Excellent. Very uh, stronger berry flavor. Good thickness, and it's very soft, which to me is the giveaway for that one. Very sticky, thick pulp. Okay, next one. Okay. Whoa, this one's really soft. That's excellent. Is that? What is that? <laughs> now this one feels softer than the other one. And just as thick and jammy. Hmm. I think the assistant's messing with me. Is that one Verdino del Nord? Hmm, what was the first one then? Maybe that was Ronde Bordeaux. No, sorry, keep going. Celeste? Yeah. Verdolino? Yeah. Pastelier? Huh. This is really hard, guys. <laughs> this is really hard, I can't do this. Okay, let's keep going. I, I'm gonna say, no I'm gonna say that one I have a feeling one, one of those was Rondé Bordeaux. And I think the second one was Rondé Bordeaux because it had a grassier note to it and I think that's Rondé Bordeaux. But interestingly, I would give that the edge over the first one. But I think that's because the berry flavor was just slightly, slightly stronger. Yes, by the way, these are all very, very ripe. Wow, that's real good. Smith, I'm pretty sure that's Smith. I'm confident that's Smith. You know, Smith is known to stay on your palate. This one's very soft. That's excellent. Very good texture. And berry flavor. I think that's the best fig so far. Wow. What type? Hmm. Is that already Chicago? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go with Hardy Chicago. Chicago, the best one. Jeez, that's crazy. If that's true. This one has a very sticky skin. Like, it's coming off under my fingers. Maybe that's Dotato. Or Brianzola Rosso. I think this is a honey fig. But not... Not as creamy as I would have expected. But then it could be holier too, I guess. <sighs> Maybe we change 
That one more tasted more like Dotato than the Dotato. Maybe the first one was Brianzolo and this one's Dotato. I can't remember. All right. Well, what was your guess on I'm going to say, can I guess Dotato twice? Yeah, there's no rules in the big taste. Oh, that's crazy. All right, another excellent one. Now this one has the clay flavor. That Campaneri should have. How can there be three Campaneris? Okay, uh, you know what, I got, I, I'm, I messed up. There's, this is all messed up. All right, I'm gonna say Campaneri again. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Very, very good berry flavor. Interesting. Complex. Wait, what's the skin on this one like? Yeah. This has some acidity to it. And very few of these figs have any acidity. And I, I think that's Teramo. I hope that's right. Small fig. Wow. Incredibly sweet. Unbelievably sweet. That's like eating candy right there. That I think is Vertolino. Interesting berry flavor. Very fruity. Whoa. Now this is sweet and juicy and loose. It has a more very juicier uh, and not as thick pulp. And I think it has a, it has a pretty good berry flavor. I think this is Pastelier. Hmm. Yeah, that's my guess. Okay. Now, whoa, really thick skin. And the skin is, has a cinnamon flavor, spicy. That's Rancho. Oh my God, this is, okay. This one has the best texture of any of them. Maybe Teramo is close, but this is Boy Triana. And I mean, Teramo is close in terms of texture, but Boy Triana is like eating pure jam right off the tree. That's excellent. Very, very good. Next fig. Okay. Hmm. This has hmm. I wonder if that is I wonder if that's Smith. You know, we haven't done Hativ. Let's just say, uh, I'm going to say Hativ because we haven't done that one, I think, yet. And it's got to be in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> is that what a big boss would say? <laughs> okay, this is your last big. Okay, good. Whoa. 
This is very good. I'm gonna say this is Teramo. It has a cherry acidity. Oh, maybe this is Sativ. Hmm. Is the skin this thick on Hativ? Hmm. I think I may have switched Hativ and Taramo. No, that is a pretty darn good cherry flavor. More acidity than any of them. And more cherry flavor. I'm gonna just say that's Hativ and the one before it. Okay, so those are the two I missed. I missed Caneva and I missed St. Martin. Now I've only, I haven't eaten many St. Martin figs, so give me a break on that one. I'm gonna say St. Martin was number 16. So I'm changing my answer. Okay. And Caneva, I don't know where to put that because, yeah, I don't even remember eating it. Amazing. Truly amazing. I mean, I, maybe I picked a very ripe Caneva, and that's maybe why. Okay. Now, I'm going to take off my blindfold, and my assistant is going to tell me which ones I got right and which ones I got wrong. Okay. So I went through my list here with my assistant, and we've decided that I didn't do too bad. <laughs> At least we... We have come to that conclusion, but I think because there was so many figs, 17 varieties, we, the fact that I was blindfolded, I mean, this was just very difficult. I'm going to be honest. A lot of the figs to me taste very similar. And I think that's partly because I like a very certain fig. A lot of them were, I think, uh, similar ripeness as well. So it was difficult to differentiate. I knew some key things from certain varieties like Celeste. I knew certain uh, certain things about Vertolino. I knew the texture of White Triana. You know, I knew the flavor and the texture of Rancho. Um, you know, certain figs were like a giveaway. Um, Smith I'd eaten so many times and I feel like I knew the texture really well. Um, but some of these others were, especially the honey figs, really were confusing to differentiate from. St. Martin I had never I've eaten very few St. Martins before. And normally it has a pretty decently strong berry flavor. Um, and I was shocked to learn that I didn't get that one or even think about it. But I guess because it is so new to me that I wasn't able to differentiate uh, it from others. Um, so Dotado and Holier, I can easily see them being interchangeable. Um, and then, you know, Brianzolo, I think, of course, is is in that same category, but I didn't pick up on the creaminess that I normally think about when I eat that variety. So I couldn't find the texture there to really nail that one. Uh, but others really that stood out to me, you know, were figs like uh, Verdino del Nord, Ron de Bordeaux. I said that was the best so far, fig eight. You know, I, I obviously really like Smith. I, I said that Campaneri had a good complex berry flavor, uh, which, um, I think that one was excellent. Um, I also mixed up Hativ and Verdino del Nord, so that's really saying something. Um, and I think I did that. So for Verdino del Nord, I said Ron de Bordeaux. For Hativ, I said Verdino del Nord. And then um, when it actually came to Teramo, which was also excellent, I said, whoa, very good. That was actually... Um, I said Hatif. So uh, I think, like I said, they're all very similar, you know, and, and definitely some of them stood out like Caneva had that clay flavor to it. And I said, I said Campaneri instead of Caneva. Um, so I think it's clear to me that there's no real surprise that certain figs were my favorites and others I think I would put a little bit of a lower tier, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's not really that big of a difference. I even said Hardy Chicago was Campaneri. You know, so I enjoyed eating all of them. And again, this is really difficult, but I don't think, truthfully, there's a huge difference. To me, I was eating a fig and I enjoyed it. And um, 
Yeah, maybe I think if we had some really spectacular figs mixed in here, like we didn't have any green Michurinska, we didn't have any Adriatic figs, we didn't have any Black Madeira or Italian 258 or any Col de Doms or the Hibernenka figs, you know, maybe I would have been like, oh, that's on another tier. These are all varieties that ripen rather early or mid-season are very, I think, very reliable in my climate. Um, and so, yeah, I think we did pretty good considering the circumstances. Case closed. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And uh, by the way, check out my blog, figboss.com, for more fig-related information.